Avid Control is a comprehensive control surface app for iOS or Android devices, which can be used independently or in concert with Avid Control surfaces like the Avid S1 and Dock. It consists of six primary pages, including mixer, tracks, channel, meters, soft keys, and monitoring. Powered by Yukon, Avid Control acts like an extension of your software. Whether you use Pro Tools, Media Composer, or a third-party application like Logic Pro, Cubase, Premiere Pro, or others, Avid offers the industry's most tightly integrated workflows through the high-speed Yukon Control Protocol, giving you unmatched hands-on control of your favorite creative tools. Avid Control automatically adapts its controls to the Yukon-enabled application in focus on your computer, providing you with direct tactile access to hundreds of functions and commands without a mouse. With six primary screen views, you can view, navigate, and interact with your project in many ways. Let's start by taking a look at the Mixer page. The Mixer page provides users with an intuitive interface for balancing tracks via long-throw multi-touch faders. Up to 12 color-coded channel strips can be displayed per page when set to a landscape orientation, and users can simply swipe to access additional faders. If we touch a channel's mono or stereo panner, the pan knobs are magnified, providing a more precise way to adjust values. Each channel in the mixer features dedicated automation indicators showing the current automation mode as well as a color-coded state when automation is being recorded or played back. Large solo and mute switches accompany each channel strip, and when a channel is muted, the mixer interface visually dims the channels which are not actively being heard. Users can choose whether the high-resolution channel meters follow the look of our high-end consoles, as you can see here, or alternatively, the visual scheme of Pro Tools, green meters with amber gain reduction. Above the automation indicators on the channel strip, we have user-switchable function curves, which can be touched to cycle between EQ, dynamics, or panning. Each channel's function view can be set independently and can even be locked in place by simply touching and holding on the desired view. If we touch meters from the tabs in Avid Control, we are presented with an S6 style meter bridge featuring extended high resolution meters with game reduction. Each strip includes color coded channels, user definable meters, and comprehensive channel information. Each channel features dedicated function curves, input and output assignments automation mode indicators, track types, and detailed information about the group assigned to each channel. The Tracks page displays a scrollable grid view of color-coded tiles representing the tracks from the workstation. Users can choose both the number of tracks as well as the way they are arranged on the page from the Mixer View settings. While in a landscape orientation, up to 96 tracks can be viewed per page before users simply swipe up or down to reveal additional tracks. Users can simply touch a track to attention it and navigate any attached S1 surfaces into the appropriate range. Just like the Mixer page, we have a track universe displayed at the top of the page. At the bottom of the page, we can press the solo button to enable individual soloing of any tracks when touched. Simply tap Clear to deselect all the solos I just engaged. If we touch Record, we can enable a few of our print tracks, which you can see are also currently enabled for input monitoring. The SoftKeys page features an array of preset functions to control every aspect of the workstation, from editing, mixing, automation, recording, and more. If we touch the button named Memloc, we can access a page displaying all the memory locations from our active session. We can easily add, edit, recall, or remove any of the markers from the same page. Included with the default SoftKey set are comprehensive commands for automation, from changing modes and suspending automation to more advanced functions like preview, capture, punch preview, write twos, and auto join. We've also included a set of user pages where it's possible to add the commands that are important to your specific workflow, from a single Yukon or keyboard shortcut to a complex string of commands built into a macro. All of the purple buttons with angled corners represent page jumps with additional menus in order to differentiate from direct commands. If the transport bar is enabled from the general settings, users can access a subset of the soft keys from the lower section of each of the pages in Avid Control. For example, to quickly jump to different parts of the song, simply touch a memory location to recall it. This could also be handy for popping into automation trim or performing snapshot automation without having to leave the current page. The channel page provides users with an expanded set of controls for every possible parameter related to the attention track. It includes a color-coded function scroller representing the different sets of parameters for the targeted track, including dynamics, EQ, sends, pan, heat, and more. This page provides predictable control for Avid or third-party plugins, including advanced curve support from developers like FabFilter, DSP, Sonox, Waves, DMG, and Harrison. If we touch the Sends block, you can see we have instant access to our reverbs, subharmonic tools, and harmonizers. 
Users can even choose whether they prefer to see knobs or sliders for the function parameters. The pan block provides an integrated surround panner, supporting any formats from basic stereo to 5.1, 7.1, and even Dolby Atmos enabled object tracks. Users are presented with two different options to explore, a smaller touch panner or a larger expanded panner for when you need more real estate to precisely automate a complex movement. Users can simply touch the local automation mode button to pop into touch and perform a quick panning pass. The monitoring page included with Abbott Control provides an intuitive touchscreen interface for any Yukon-enabled monitoring devices, such as Pro Tools Matrix, Xmon, or other software-based monitoring sections, including Steinberg Nuendo. We have immediate access to all of our source inputs, whether coming from Digilink, Dante, Matty, or any analog connections. Source inputs can either be summed or switched based on the user's monitoring view settings. For each of the monitors A through D, we can choose which inputs to source for cues or talent mixes, as well as the appropriate level to send. For the control room, we have dedicated controls for the primary attenuation, dim, cut, talkback, and dim level. We also have the ability to engage fold-down presets and solo or mute individual speakers. If enabled, users can display soft keys in the lower section of the monitoring page, handy for accessing memory locations or for more complex custom monitoring macros. Avid Control turns your iOS or Android device into a powerful control surface that helps speed up recording, editing, monitoring, and mixing tasks. Download the free app today at avid.com slash avidcontrol.